Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. Yesterday we were sharing by dividing even numbers. Today we're going to be dividing odd numbers. Hmm, I want you to think about that. Are we able to divide an odd number into two equal groups? Well, we're going to try. Let's take a closer look. Class, yesterday we used lots of little animals to help us divide sets in half. And we always used even numbers, so it was easy to divide them in half. Just like here, four, we can divide it into two groups of two. Well, even numbers are pretty easy to divide in half. For instance, the number six is really two groups of three. The number eight is really two groups of four. The number 10 is two groups of five. It becomes harder when we use odd numbers. So we're gonna take a look at some odd numbers today. Class yesterday, when we were dividing even numbers, we made sure that we had the same number on each side. And we're gonna do that again today. We're gonna start with the number five. If we have five objects, which is an odd number, and we try to divide it evenly on both sides, hmm, let's see what happens. Put one on this side and one on that side one on this side and one on that side, and oh no, what do I have? <gasps> I can't put him on that side, it wouldn't be even. And I can't put him on this side, it wouldn't be even. So one half of five is two, but do you know what? I have a remainder of one. I have one left over. So I need to tell you that one half of five is two, but oh, there's gonna be one left that I cannot divide in half. We are gonna divide the number nine in half. Let's put an equal number on each side. This time I'm gonna put two on this side and two on that side. Two on this side and two on this side, and then, oh no, I have one left over. Hmm. So I would say that one half of nine is four with one left over. I'm gonna put that in my little box. I'm gonna put an R here. I'm gonna say it's the remainder. It's what's remaining. I have one more that, oh dear, I can't really cut it in half, can I? Let's try dividing the number 13 in half. I'm gonna put two on this side and two and two, and two, and two, and two, and oh no, I have one left over. How many little animals do I have on each side? You're right, it is six. So one half of 13 is six. Oh dear, with a remainder of how many? One. Now we're gonna try to find one half of 17. Hmm, let's see, I'm gonna put two on this side and two, and keep putting two on each side. I could do one on each side, but two is just a little bit faster. <gasps> I have two, four, six, eight on this side, and two, four, six, eight on that side, with one in the middle. Hmm, one half of 17 is eight, with a remainder of how many? One. Odd numbers cannot be divided into two equal groups. There's always going to be one left over. Class, what if we had two friends who were playing with dolls and they had some clothes to go with them and they wanted to share them equally? We have 11 pieces of clothing and we're going to find out how many each girl gets to play with. Well, we'll put one on this side and one on that side and one over here, one over here. 
And then, well, we'll have some clothes to change into. She'll get these bottoms and that one. And another outfit, one, two, another outfit, one, two. So this side has one, two, three, four, five. And this side has one, two, three, four, five. But look, there is a pair of heart sunglasses left. So one half of 11 is five, but with how much left? A remainder of one. So I'm gonna take these and put them up here so that the girls don't fight over them. They each get to share an equal number of pieces. So one half of 11 is five with a remainder of one. Oh class, thank you so much for learning with me. Today, we learned about remainders and how we can't really divide odd numbers into two equal groups. There's always gonna be one left over. And we often call that the remainder. Class, I hope that you have fun as you share and divide today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.